With the help of my friend Emily, we picked up the wood for the wall on Thursday. I didn't plan on starting to get the T-nuts installed until Friday, but I couldn't resist the urge to start. So I printed out the T-nut spacing guide from Atomic Climbing Holds website. And it took me about an hour to transfer the layout to the plywood. Not wanting to lay out the T-nut spacing on another sheet of plywood, I decided to clamp the two sheets together and drill them at the same time. It worked out fine for me, but next time I might try drilling them separately. I got the three screw style T-nuts and it's a bit of a pain to put three screws in each of them, but once you get into a rhythm, it's not too bad. And so far we've had no spinners. I also got smart, and by that I mean my wife suggested that I use one of our folding tables to hold the plywood while I put the T-nuts in. I can't overemphasize how useful it would be to have sawhorses or something sawhorse-like for this project. Building the frame for the wall was the easiest part in my opinion. It's just 2x4s on 24 inch centers joined with 3 inch screws. We attach the plywood with one and a half inch screws every foot on each stud and around the edge. In the planning video I said I was going to leave off the bottom row of T-nuts, but I didn't do that and with the wall at 15 degrees they are usable. Any steeper in that and they probably wouldn't be. We took a break and I forgot to restart the camera. Sadly, this will be a trend for the day. It took us a bit and I called my friend Pat to figure out how to cut the angles for the wall supports. They didn't turn out exactly as planned. We intended the 2x6s to come out from the top of the wall, but they ended up hitting the wall 3-4 to four inches down from the top, which is fine. The original plan was to use 2x6s at the bottom of the wall as well. But Walter and I talked about it and we both felt more comfortable using 2x4s since they would be easier to pad and that 2x6s weren't actually going to be needed for structural support. Once we got the first end frame up, we ate lunch, and once again, I forgot to restart the camera. For the second frame, we just repeated what we did on the first, copying the angles from the first wall support, which made it a lot easier. Then we joined the two frames together with a 2x6 laying flat on the floor. 
we used metal corner brackets to attach the 2x6 to the supports. Using a 2x6 is probably overkill, but since we switched out the 2x6s for 2x4s on the sides, we had several extra. Sweaty and exhausted, but psyched, we tried our hand at setting for the first time. The problems were okay, but personally I was just too tired and sore and could barely pull on the wall. I'm going to work on setting a couple easier problems, then after recovering from this build weekend for a few days, hopefully I'll be able to pull on the wall and get some video of me climbing my first problem on my new home wall.